Today we have a 2015 Ford F250, I think, or 350, with the 6.7 power stroke. And today we are going to be replacing the EGR valve. This is what it looks like. Uh, the nice thing is the Motorcraft one, which I'll post the part number up here, it comes with all the bolts and the gaskets. The one thing you want to make sure before you even get into this is we need to uh, drain the coolant. And then let's hope we don't break these bolts on this exhaust pipe. But let's go ahead and get started. I got to pull the, air, the top of the air box this off. It's missing a nut. That's nice. Break one of those. Again. So we're going to use these, very gentle, I'm going to go ahead and get this air box out, just the top of it. Okay, there's that. I'm going to move the camera right there, hopefully you can see better. It's a little windy so it's going to be a little noisy today. Like our vacuum pump is starting to leak on here too. We'll let him know about that. Let's see if we can get these out. These two. That one's easy. Uh, let's get the lube. We're gonna get the hard ones now. And let's hope they don't break. Because if they do, it's gonna be a rough, rough day. This truck only has just a smidge under 100,000, I think. So, hopefully, some miracle that makes it easier for us to do this. Oh, that's broken. That's a nice Ford. Ford's always leaving me surprises. So let's use the eight swivel. Let's try to knock this out real quick. You're kind of a pain in the butt to get to down here. Let's try to do these by hand so we can feel if we're gonna have a bad day. Mm, that one's really tight. It's a very bad design Ford. Yeah, they're really tight. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do it without taking that off. I don't know if it's possible, but we're gonna find out. So, this is the first time I've done a valve one of these, I think. No, it's been a while. So, the coolant's already all nice and drained. Let's get this off. Get this hose. Okay. I uh, would like to try to get this off. I'll replace that. I figured it was gonna break, they always do. Get the clamp for the clip off, electrical connector for the valve. Now let's take all the bolts out. Yeah, I've done one of these before. It's not a good idea, but I'm gonna set the bolts in the air filter area. Just so I don't mix them up with the new bolts. Um, there's an old gasket. somewhere hiding from us and then there's one behind this 
pipe, which really sucks. I don't know if they're in here. Oh, one right there. Right over there. If I was smart, I would look at the new valve. Because I have the new one right here, I can see all the holes. So I think we've got all of them besides this one because it's behind the pipe that I can't really get. Um, I don't, I don't want to break the pipe. That is a pain in the butt. Let's see if maybe we loosen them up a little bit. No, they're quite tight. Well, you can see, you can't really see because everything's in the way. So I, what I did is I started up like this and let it get a little toasty. And the bolts, they loosened up a little bit. And the other one was a little rough coming out, but it is what it is, you know. But at least they came out because this valve is quite the pain in the butt. Just because of this pipe, if you didn't take this pipe out, it'd be cool. And this is the infamous, this is the infamous bolts that always break in the manifold. I mean, let me get me started on the bolts that hold the manifolds to the heads. They always love to break too. Why? How does it feel? Just, just, just do me a favor. Just leave it, and I'll go drive in the morning. Well, or if I finish this, I'll go drive it after this. I'm almost done. This is the hardest part. Just because I want to, I'll go drive it. I don't mind. Got keys for that dog? Yeah, the ticket's up there somewhere. Hey, how's just, the brake feel? Up, up somewhere over there. Just fine. I uh. Did you go to the floor while you were driving? No, I never went to the floor. Just go grab the ticket, move that, and then uh, yeah, you want to go drive this? I'm going to put the truck over there too. That's fine. Do you want it in your bag? Um, just put it in front of Mike's for now. You want to check that Dodge? Dodge. Front end and AC. Yeah, so we have something. Is that going? that guy? Who? That um, cop guy? Um, no, it's not him. He he got rid of his truck. Oh, okay. It shouldn't be this hard to get off. Not today. Oh no! See, there's one right there. I knew it. I knew there was something. And I even looked over it three times. I think I'm going blind. Definitely going blind. Oh, nice. Look at that. Drain the coolant out. It doesn't drain it all out. It's a nice treat. Where's the inside of the valve? Okay. Set that over there. Here's this. I figured it was going to be a little tight because it's got dowels, but I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean it up. Try to get this coolant out of the EGR cooler. Don't suck it in. It's got a little bit of coolant in there. Get some brake coolant on there. Jesus. Yeah. I get all the black stuff off from the old gasket as much as I can off. Without messing it up too much. Okay, here's our new gasket. Maybe it goes like so. And then here's our new valve. 
to get a couple bolts ready for it. Set it on there nice and easy because there's dowels on here, so you want them to line up. What do you got, Clayton? Oh, I didn't want to do video. Huh? Oh, that's okay. Uh, you want the keys or you want to put them off? For the PT? Yeah. Give them to Barry. Also, it's not on the red really lines back into a spot in the front. That's fine. That's and good. If you want, I can back the Durango up and back the red line in front of it. Yeah, if you could do that. It's the only option I have. Yeah, no, if you could do that, just to make it look nice over there. Thank you. So we'll start up here. That gasket's pretty cool. It's like a multi-layer steel gasket. It's like feels like a head gasket almost. Get all these tied around it. I'm sure every time you hear my, my elbow click when it's tight. Click. Like these uh, the, not the Honda one. The, this is the Durango. That yeah, the Durango goes in there. The Honda I keep. I'm going to keep the Honda. I'm gonna go drive it in a minute. Let's get it all nice and clean. I made a mess. Now I'm getting brake clean inside the port, which isn't ideal. Just plug the connector back in. Just that. Uh, okay, now the nightmare pipe. Manifold hose. Okay. Okay, here's our pipe. It's went around the crimp part. Okay. That's fine. And then it went around the pressure switch. Okay. From what I can tell so far. Okay. So I just take a look at it, write it all up, let me know, and then I'll go we'll go over it tomorrow. No. Today's not Friday. No. No, today's Thursday. Really? Yeah, corn will come on Thursday. Friday. Okay, now have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that gasket. Okay, I'm gonna set the one back here in. It's a new gasket. I'm using the same bolts. Okay, where's that? And the other gasket dropped. Hopefully, it's right here. It was right there. Okay, it's right here. Okay, now we got this one. Should we put the bolts back in? You can tell they're the, not the silver bolts, they're like a brownish color. Spray a little lube on them and give us the best chance, but we're going in aluminum, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's not like we're going in cast like the manifold. And we'll get these started. In this one, this truck, it actually had a major lack of power and a check engine light. That's why we replaced the valve. Had an EGR excessive flow code. You know, went through all the pinpoint testing, did the test. 
that's to replace the valve. Truthfully, the valve doesn't, doesn't, I don't see anything visually wrong with it, but, you know, that's, uh, that's where we got to start. So I didn't tighten those up just yet. I'm going to go ahead and snug these down. I know it's really hard to see back there. I apologize. I'm working in, a, in very tight quarters on this truck. So right now I'm getting that one. Hopefully you can see. Come on. Yeah, you can't really see. That's what I'm getting right now. Just gonna make sure that one feels feels good. It's not binding. I just don't want them to bind. I don't want it to break on the next person. They both feel pretty good so far. I should just use studs. Put studs in the manifolds with nuts for the exhaust for this part. You know, but. Okay, that's tight. I'm gonna tighten this one up real quick. Let's see it squish. And okay, there's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten this one up now. We gotta put the broken clamp on. I'm gonna let him know. We'll have to see if we can order that bracket or maybe repair it. For the time being, we're gonna put it back together because the guy needs his truck. I'd rather at least visually be there. I'm gonna get these nice and tight. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. bite on that okay that's all done this coolant hose I still gotta fix that clamp but we're gonna get all the, the bolts off the air filter real quick make sure we're not making any messes too bad of a mess okay I'm gonna leave this off for the time being it's just gonna be easier I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit and we're going to put the back in it's a little bit easier with this stuff disconnected still is it a track bar or a drag link the one that goes from the pivot arm to the pivot if the pivot arm that's a drag link okay track bar is from diff to frame If it needs the majority of the parts, we'll see if we can get the Dodge cells the whole assembly. Yeah. yeah it's such a problem on those trucks. Okay, dokey. Okay. So, let's put this in. There's nothing on the air filter. Made sure I didn't leave no bolts or gaskets for the engine to ingest. When you're putting these on, make sure you get them sealed up right. Um, you don't want this thing sucking dirt. I mean, these Fords are so sensitive, they'll throw a code. Hopefully it'll throw good. So what I'm gonna do right now, everything's done up here. I gotta tighten this clamp. I still have to put cool in it and fix this. I'll fix that for sure. Um, I need to go underneath and tighten the drain plug, fill it with coolant, and then fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So the valve's been in for a little bit. It's been running for about 20 minutes or so, just to make sure the secondary cooling system is full. So far we have no code. So in a couple minutes when I get a free place, I'm gonna go ahead and drive this uh, truck. I'll take it for a spin, come back, we'll double check the fluids and make sure she's good to go and make sure we have no more codes and loss of power.